So here is our local church. It's made of three different ages. The most recent being the clock tower up there. The clock isn't exactly quite right. But this clock tower was built in the 1700s. I'll give you some more detailed information about that in a bit. This main bit here was made in the times of the Tudors. And this is where the main hall is. And this bit here was made before the Tudors in like medieval Triangle Saxon times. So now starting this tower, I'm gonna start in this corner here. So like you can see on some castles, they were like names engraved into it so you might be able to only just see it's one from AD 1700 that was around the time when this tower was built but up there where the bells are there's five bells three of them of which are dated one of them being from the early 1900s. The other one being from 17th century. And the pride of it, one of them from the 14th century. Now, at this part, at the back of the tower, it is said that this were bits, were musket holes from in the civil war but how can the how can that happen the civil war was in the 1600s this tower was built in the 1700s so other interpretations say there was practice but it's from the napoleonic wars yeah i find this bit most interesting part about this tower. And over here is the back of the Tudor part. Now when you look at this square window here, if you look above it, you can see like a brick arch a bit, where you can tell that this window used to be like an arched window. Yeah, this bit is chewed a bit, and then that brings us to this area here. This is said to be like the oldest part of the building. This bit's said to be like medieval and Anglo Saxon. Then you can see this jetty bit over here. oldest part of the church using flint and you come over here there's some heads up there and fact about this church I've heard that not sure but I've heard that um there's a point where the church was disused became that run down that a um, oak sapling started growing on the altar, which is in this bit here. Now, every churchyard will always have a yew tree, its Latin name, Taxus Bacata. But in this case, there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In this case, and these graves here 
the oldest ones that I've seen, these ones dating back to 17, 1800. Like, one of them is 1752 and 1740. Have you looked at some of these as well? Then? 1768, 1781. Now, in this churchyard, there are two Commonwealth War graves. This one here, Private D. H. Charles, Welsh Regiment, 29th of December 1914. So that is in the First World War. And another one. is over here Private F. Mancy, Gloucestershire Regiment, 5th of March 1916 So this grave William Portsmouth he used to live in our house, where we live now. Yeah, some of these graves are about 400 years old. Others, only a couple of months. Who's probably that big? Oh yeah. <laughs>